Hi all, in this session we are going to discuss about the control room settings. So here we have in settings we have option control room settings. So you can see here uh, this is the control room configuration. So repository path, whatever the repository when you are uploading data from client. So repository path it will select and client service port is 8001. You can able to edit this or let me just say this and just I don't want to change it backward compatibility of the clients with the version would not support it if the port number is changed to any other port you can see here the port 801 supports client connections for the versions below 10.3 and maintains backward compatibility updating will results in client have a to re-login do you want to update no I'm just uh, not updating this so, so this is the repository path if it will if you are changing this then it will backward compatibility it will not happen it will work for the previous versions also this is the control room configuration and another one is version control configuration this is the very important portions in the uh, your interviews also what type of svn where you are using if you can able to use basically version control is disabled you can use the svn version also if you want to use any svn server name so you can use that username and password and local path you can able to connect so svn server name and password so you can do that by using version control the next one is how doing mail server connection so email configuration you have to enable from here if any mails or something you want to configure so from control room so you can able to configure here enable from host name from and a host uh, details you have to give like example you can see here my isp.com lower local smtp server and port number my server secure connection you have to use and require authentication username password to save changes so these are the email uh, server con outgoing mail server configurations we have to change. I'm just disabling now. I'm not configuring anything presently. So next one is like email notifications. So you can able to see here email notifications, notification user information updated or activated, deactivated. So these email notifications will be there. If I configure this outgoing mail con server configuration, then I it will be enabled. And so another one is like a credential world configuration you can uh, this is very important question in uh, interviews also so credential world configuration you will use the express mode and uh, system will store user master key and auto connect to credential world if you are using manual mode more secure master key manually entered every time when you start the control world. so basically i am just using this express mode to master key and auto connect to credential world it will auto connect to but if you use the manual key, you have to enter the every time master key to every time when you are uh, logged into the control room. So you just selected ma master key. You have to enter your master key here. Then every time whenever you are logged into the control room, you have to give that details and all. So this is the credential vault configuration. And the next one is client configuration. So you can see here client. So uh, this one is also an important thing. Secure recording feature is enabled. If you are enabled this one, images control values will not able to capture during business process recording by what creators. So what is the why you are enabling this is keep this option enabled if you are automating secure application like a bank accounts. So when you are uh, upgrading any bank up, uh, automating any bank accounts or any secure information kind of thing so so you are recording any features and all then you have to use the secure recording should be enabled so it will uh, unable to you are unable when you are secure recording is enabled so your images or control values will not be captured during process so this is a very important feature uh, and it will be uh, frequently asked in the certifications and uh, exams also uh, sorry in interviews also it's a secure feature secure recording feature is there in control room settings so and another one is product help urls use automation in your urls or use custom urls if you are any uh, support is required so then you can able to use this URL. you can able to change the urls from control room you can able to provide the urls here so basically you are using automation in your URLs. Support a kind of things. So this is the control room setting uh, If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.
so next session we are going to discuss about the task editor and the client uh, how the commands and all we can able to use thanks for watching this video